Selected Pioneer Next head units feature Android Auto, which extends the Android platform into the car in a way that's purpose-built for driving, and automatically brings you useful information and organizes it into simple cards that appear just when they're needed. It's designed to minimize distraction so you can stay focused on the road ahead. Let's take a couple of moments and we're going to check out Android Auto, how to set it up and how to use it on your compatible Nex receiver. The on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Nex models. AVH 4100 Nex, 4200 Nex, and 4201 Nex. AVIC 7100 Nex, 7200 Nex, 7201 Nex. AVIC 8100 Nex, 8200 Nex, and AVIC 8201 Nex. On the back of your Nex head unit, there are two USB ports. USB 1 on the top right here, and USB 2 on the bottom. Be sure to use USB port number 2 for connecting Android Auto. Don't use USB port number 1 for Android Auto. It does not work. You can plug the cable that came with your phone directly into USB port number 2, or you can use the USB extension that came in the box with your next head unit to bring that uh, USB port up into the passenger compartment. Remember, use USB port number 2. You can use the cable that came with your phone, or you can use the optional CD-MU200 cable from Pioneer for compatible phones, and leave this cable in your car. Do I need additional software either on my Pioneer Next receiver or on my phone to make Android Auto work? Let's start with the in-dash receiver. Make sure you go to pioneerelectronics.com, download and install the latest firmware updates for your particular Next receiver. On your phone, you need to have Android version 5.0 or higher. In addition to Android 5.0 or higher, you need Android Auto. So go to the Google Play Store and download Android Auto and install it on your phone. For Android Auto apps that install on your phone and work on the Pioneer Next receiver, check the Android Auto app when it's not connected to your Pioneer receiver. Here you can find a full list of compatible apps. Okay, so you've got your Android phone with version 5.0 or higher of the Android operating system, and you've downloaded and installed the Android Auto app onto your phone, and you've done the latest updates to your Pioneer Next head unit. So let's get started with Android Auto. Uh, but before we get started, we have to check a setting on the head unit to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. Now, for most uh, of the Pioneer Next head units, you won't need to do this setting, but some of the older models, you may need to do this. So we're going to check the touch the gears here, and we are going to go to the toolbox, and then we want the input-output settings, and then we want to check our smartphone setup. So for under smartphone setup, under the device type, we want others. That is what we use for our Android connection. Connection type, we want USB number two, and we want to make sure that we have Android Auto switched on. Now, if you try any of these other connection types, like HDMI, uh, you see Android Auto goes away. And if under Bluetooth here, Android Auto also goes away. We need to choose USB number two, and make sure that we have Android Auto switched on. That's all we need to do. We can hit the X here now. And we'll go back to a source. Let's go back to a source uh, USB 1. So I've got the compatible software installed on the phone. I have my USB extension that was included in the box plugged into USB port number 2. And I've got my compatible USB cable ready to go. So now I'm going to plug in my, um, my Android phone for the first time. When I do that, the Android system tells me that, wait, you've got to stop and engage the parking brake. Okay, we'll do that. 
So I've put on the parking brake and now Android Auto will connect to the head unit and we have to say accept over here. And now it's going to allow us access to other things. We have to say continue here. And we get a short tutorial on the screen showing us how to use Android Auto with steering wheel buttons and so forth. But we're going to skip that for right now. And this brings up Android Auto. Now there's a bunch of cool things that I can do with Android Auto, but let's take a tour of it first. This is kind of the home screen or the overview screen where you can see your cards on the screen. Shows you the music that you have playing, uh, the weather today locally, and phone calls, uh, missed calls, uh, text messages will all appear as cards right here. And I have some buttons across the bottom. If I touch the map button here, I see my local map. If I touch the telephone button here, I see my incoming and outgoing calls, uh, but realistically you'll do all of your phone calls by voice. This is your overview screen. Then we have music screen here. This is uh, music's playing right now. Pandora is the app that I have selected, but I have other apps available right here. And these, this is just a sample of the other apps that are available. There are loads of them available for Android Auto. We'll close that up. And the button over here will take us back to the Pioneer system, but there's a couple of other ways that we can do that as well. So we're going to go back to the home screen. Now if you have steering wheel controls in your vehicle, it's very easy to map one of your steering wheel controls to be the microphone button up here. Uh, but in this demonstration, I don't have steering wheel controls, so I'm just going to use that microphone button to, uh, first thing is, make a phone call. Call Felonius. Calling Felonius Mobile. And here you can see we're making a phone call to Felonius. And we'll hang up. When a phone call comes in, you'll see the incoming caller listed right here. If I want to answer the call, touch anywhere in the blue. If I want to reject the call, touch the X. We'll answer this call. So now I'm on the phone call, and if I uh, want to mute the call, I can touch the mute button here, or turn that off. If I want to bring up a keypad, I can do that if the parking brake is engaged. And when I want to end the call, all I got to do is touch the red button here. Next, let's send a text message. Send a text message to Reginald. How about lunch? Here's your text to Reginald. How about lunch? Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. Now we'll receive a text message. When the text message comes in, you get a audio notification and this pops up on the screen. If I touch that, Reginald says, sounds good. Let's make it 12 noon. Do you want to reply? Yes. What's the message? 12 noon sounds good to me. Here's your text to Reginald. 12 noon sounds good to me. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. We can also use this system for full turn-by-turn -turn instruction on navigation, and it's really easy to set a route. Navigate to PPG Paints Arena. All right, PPG Paints Arena. Let's go. You can see that I have a pinch and zoom function for maps here as well. Remember, this is an Android phone, so you have the full power of Google at your fingertips. And you can do that by saying, OK, Google, what is George Washington's birthday? George Washington was born on February 22, 1732. You can do a ton of different things with, uh, with OK, Google. Call Felonius.
Calling Felonious Mobile. Okay, Google, send a text message to Reginald. What about dinner? Here's your text to Reginald. What about dinner? Do you want to send it or change it? Okay, Google. Do the Penguins play hockey tonight? Pittsburgh Penguins will face New York Islanders today at 7 p.m. Okay, Google. Navigate to PNC Park. PNC Park, all right. You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 9.45 a.m. Okay, Google. Start Spotify. Okay, asking to play music. So now let's take a look at the volume controls on your Pioneer Next Head unit and your Android Auto system. So right now I do not have Android Auto connected. I just have the, the Pioneer system here. And when I turn up the volume on, uh, this is the USB source, you see the USB volume control comes up here. No other volume controls are available. And I have the, the mute button right there as well. So it's USB only on the volume control. Now we'll plug in the Android Auto system and you'll see how this changes. So we plug in Android Auto, the system automatically switches over to Android Auto. And now when I adjust the volume, you see I have USB 1 and I have guidance, uh, two different things going on there. So if I adjust USB 1, that is the USB source from the Pioneer Next head unit that's playing, and I have guidance from the navigation system available as well. So uh, we'll create a route to go somewhere. Navigate to Heinz Hall. All right, Heinz Hall, let's go. So here's the guidance system, and we'll make this a little louder. I have an additional volume control for my telephone calls when I'm in Android Auto. So here's an incoming call, and we'll answer that call. And if I want to adjust the volume, I have a Bluetooth telephone call volume here now instead of the source volume. So that's an independent volume control that's used for the voice phone calls. And this, this will make the call louder or quieter inside my vehicle. 